Nicki Minaj and Little Mix owning the MTV EMAs, Breaking Bad gets a film spin-off, and Collins Dictionary announces its word of the year for 2018. Here's everything you missed on MTV News Unfiltered. Did you catch the MTV EMAs? Here's what blew up on Twitter. From Little Mix and Nicki Minaj's performance, Camila Cabello's winning streak and ponytail, to BB Rex's elephant ears, this is what everyone's talking about from the MTV EMAs. One Twitter user pointed out in caps lock that Little Mix have gone from covering one of Nicki's songs seven years ago to performing with her at the EMAs, I am the proudest ever, hashtag MTV EMA. And as Perry Feet Sean asks, also in caps lock, can we talk about this iconic moment? Yes, Perry Feet Sean, we can. This year's winner of the most MTV EMA awards and noted long hair owner Camila Cabello decided to tie it up for the red carpet. She then tweeted, I just did a high ponytail for the first time and it is literally pulling on my brain. It's so painful. How do you do it, Ariana Grande? To which Ari responded, I'm in constant pain always and don't care at all. To quote her just released potential song of the year, thank you, next, how she handles pain, that is amazing. Meanwhile, Halsey literally went singing in the rain for her debut live performance of without me. Later tweeting she spilled her heart in those puddles. BB Rexa performed a very polished, unmessy version of I'm a Mess. As Lau tweeted, she's very underrated and as Tamara pointed out, her dress looks like elephant ears. Which is great because elephants are one of the best animals out. Till next year folks. Breaking Bad is reportedly getting a film spin-off. Much like every other successful franchise being shoehorned into a different format, people's reactions are split. Some are absolutely blowing up about the possibility of more Breaking Bad goodness. As Robbie tweets very excitedly in caps lock, shrieks of excitement, Ah! Could this be about Jesse post Breaking Bad? Oh man! Others feel like Breaking Bad's a perfectly formed show as it is, and to try and squeeze any more juice out of it would risk tainting it. As Scott says, I mean this in the best way possible. Why? The show entered perfectly. It's an age-old question when it comes to tacking a film onto a successful TV show. On one hand, people absolutely froth them and will jump at anything related, whether it's a film or a novelty fridge magnet. But does that mean the films are actually any good? Well, sometimes. The Jackass films in the Lizzie McGuire movie are pieces of cinematic history, don't at me. But then you've got, mm, well, the Sex and the City films, which did well commercially, sure. But I couldn't help but wonder. Honestly, why would they made. It's more confusing than how Carrie could afford her own apartment in Manhattan, complete with an oven full of Christian Louboutins on a journalist's income. So, what do you think? Will the Breaking Bad film spin-off be any good, or will it be as hard to watch as the time Jesse tried to dissolve a body using hydrofluoric acid in a bathtub, only for it to burn a hole through the floor and spill guts over the entire house? Previous words of the year. Where are they now? Brexit, binge watch, photobomb. Every year the Collins Dictionary decides one single word that sums up the very essence of a whole 365 day period. So without further ado, this year's word is, drum roll please. Single use. Hurrah, let 2018 forever be known as the year we realize we're hurtling towards impending environmental apocalypse. And when I say forever be known, I mean maybe the next 50 odd years because at the rate we're going, that's just about all we've got. Woo! Some people are feeling a bit more optimistic on Twitter though. Catherine says, very pleased to see single use as the word of the year. Hopefully a sign of the growing awareness of the damage single use plastic causes. But what about all the old, lost, forgotten words of the year? Where are they now? In 2017, the Collins word of the year was fake news. So how's that doing 12 months on? Let's cross to the authoritative word of the President of the United States, an indisputable expert in the realm of fake news. They don't turn them because they're fake news. The fake media, the fake news. It's called fake news. Cool. 2016 was all about Brexit. So where is it now? Ah yes, great progress. Well done everyone. 2015 was the year of the binge watch. And while I'd like to think we've all mastered the ability to wrench our crumb coated selves from an eight hour Gilmore Girls marathon, I just don't think that we can really In 2014, everyone was all about the photo bomb. And although it might have been wild and wacky back then, these days the only person who finds it funny is your Uncle Dave five Proseccos deep at Christmas lunch. No, Dave, it is not funny. I am trying to capture my good side here.
Fingers crossed that in a few years, single use, the word and the plastics will be just as redundant as the photobomb.